Hi, we're going to show you how the Faraday cage blocks out radio waves. And we're going to start with this radio. So I'll just turn it on. That's with the door on. Now I'll open the door back up. No signal getting through. Now I'll open the door one more time. Close it again. All right. <laughs> That concludes our radio test. All okay, right. next we'll show you the cell phone. Good job. Okay, now we're going to show you the cell phone test. Can you zoom in on the bars? Looks like full bars. Okay, full bars. Now you hand me the camera. And you can put the door on. Okay. Now, let's watch the service bars drop. Just went down to one. One bar of service. No bars. Alright, sometimes this takes a few minutes. No service. Great. Now, go ahead and open the door again. Okay. Now, right away we can see three bars of service. Okay, close the door again. Alright. Okay. We've still got about three bars. Um, no bars. All right, we've got no bars of service there. No service. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, open the door. All right. The bars go back up one more time. All right, they're coming back. Okay, very good. Awesome. Thank you, John. You're welcome, buddy. Okay, everybody. Well, we just got done showing you the uh, test to show you how our Faraday cage blocks out cell phone signals and radio signals. And now Bonnie and I are going to take the doors off of this and raise the lid up to show you how that works too. And of course this was our prototype that we made a few years ago. We're going to be making a lot of improvements on the new Faraday cage through this project. Uh, one of the things for sure that we're going to do is the entire uh, cage will be much taller to begin with so that when you're in bed you can sit up much higher without having to remove the lid. But uh, for this original Faraday cage, it's a little bit lower, lower profile, and so we made it so that the lid can come off and you can have more of a normal uh, activities. You can um, uh, remove the mattress this way to be able to flip it over or spin it, and uh, it just makes it a lot handier to have the removable lid. So we'll go ahead and take this off for you now and show you how it works. So the doors just pull off like this. It's all held together with magnets. And then we put eye bolts into the uh, struts above in the ceiling. And uh, so it's very secure. And we can lift the lid up this way. really great and the same system for the back here lift it 
this up. That also works very good. All right. Okay. So, right here we have uh, metal mesh coming over this plate here and metal mesh here so that these two plates meet up and create a perfect seal across and of course it's the same way on the headboard over here and that gives you a perfect connection to black out all of the uh, all the various uh, frequencies that you want blocked out and again uh, our new project that we're going to do for the Faraday cage is going to use a uh, different design uh, the doors are going to be much smaller uh, the lid will still be removable, but the overall height of the bed is going to be, or the height of the Faraday cage, I should say, is going to be uh, much better to be able to sit up in bed a little bit higher without having to remove it. And uh, lots of other little improvements. You know, this is our prototype, like I said, that we made a few years ago. And uh, we've shown you that, indeed, it does work at blocking out the frequencies to keep them away from you when you're sleeping at night. And uh, we've, we definitely have had a lot of health benefits from this. So thanks a lot for watching our video. And uh, take care.